Hello again, Lily here and today I'm at a big project managed by Costain about to talk to some engineers here. I'm Aaron Vincent and I'm a graduate civil engineer. Hi, I'm Jordan, I'm 23 and I'm a civil engineer for Costain. So what does your job actually involve then, day to day, what do you do? Uh, currently I'm involved in the roadwork section, so I'm going out on site and expecting the layers that have been laid on the road, foundation, formation. Underneath the tarmac? Yeah. The bits we don't see? Yes. All the important stuff then? Yeah, you've got like, different layers, so you've got the base, the liner, and then you've got the nice sort of surface layer that looks pretty on top. So on a day-to-day -day basis I'm involved with um, setting our procedures on site, which is giving people positions, lines and levels for any work that they're going to be undertaking on that day. I'll also be involved with ordering materials and writing permits so that work can be completed. So how did you actually get into engineering then? How did you end up working for Costain? Well, I didn't always know that I wanted to be an engineer. When I was at college doing my A-levels, I actually did English, Law and Psychology. It was only after I left when I got a job for Costain that I realised uh, that engineering was what I wanted to do. Uh, Costain paid for me to go to university now one day a week and uh, I work here the other four days. I find that doing the degree and working really helps. Seems like a really good idea to get a degree whilst working rather than waiting until you've finished your degree to then try and find a route into engineering. Well, I originally did my degree in physics so even while there's some crossover with civil engineering a lot of the stuff I did learn was more on sort of um, atoms and particles, um, quantum relativity uh, and so on, so I've had to learn a lot of new stuff. So after I finished my degree, I ended up looking for jobs in the science industry, so in labs and so on, but um, they wanted not just a degree, but a minimum of three years work experience, which I didn't have. So I ended up coming to this site uh, and working in their geotechnic lab as a volunteer for a couple of months before they were impressed and decided to take me on for sort of a summer placement working in the geotechnic lab. And then when the director was from Costain, Bill Hewlett, was uh, having a tour of the site, he ended up walking around, meeting a couple of people, and I ended up having a chat with him, and he offered me a place on the graduate scheme. So I can see that the project's quite big, but what exactly is involved? What's going to happen at the end of it? The job is a five kilometre long dual carriageway. It's linking the town of Heesham up to the M6 uh, in a bid to relieve traffic through the town centre of Lancaster. There's um, quite a few large structures on the job, as you can see. We've had some major earthworks on the project. We've moved over a million tonnes of earth. Uh, yeah. That used to be a hill, and uh, we've excavated all of that for the cut for the road. So we're not allowed right down there as the road's still in progress, but you can see that it's a pretty big project. The most exciting part is after sort of going about your day-to-day -day job, working on a section and finishing that, and then you move on to another section a bit further on along the site, and then you finish that, and then your job requires you to go back to um, the section that you've already done, but there needs to be a bit more work done there, and another gang's been in there, and it's just interesting seeing how much, how far the work's gone on, and it's like watching a giant Lego model come together. So some of the best parts about engineering is when all the work that you've been work doing comes together. Uh, you can be working on a bridge for months and months, building the abutments, and then the, when the day comes that the beams come in, and you get a big crane plan the beams and it all fits together. It's a really satisfying part of the job. So how precise does it have to be then for it all to fit together perfectly? We're looking at getting to about 5mm to 10mm accuracy when we're landing the beams. We can see that this is a pretty big project that's still got some work left to go on it, as, as you can see, still in progress. But what would you most like to work on in the future? What project would excite you? I'd really like to work on High Speed 2, which is uh, the new rail line connecting the north and south. It's one of the biggest civil engineering projects in Europe. It looks to be really exciting. So one piece of advice then for someone thinking of going into engineering? I'd give one piece of advice. It'd just be never be afraid to ask. If you're unsure about anything, there's always people there to help. You don't have to have a degree in civil engineering. There's a lot of different routes into this industry. Yeah.